So last night, the Port St. Lucie Police Department responded at approximately 7.23 p.m. to the 6200 block of Northwest Duke Circle in reference to shooting. Um, the adult male victim arrived at that house to visit an occupant and was shot inside his vehicle outside the residence. Um, eyewitnesses identified a resident, another resident of that residence as Manuel Sanabria, 38 years old. Um, we did know, and he had fled the scene in a 2016 Silver Ram pickup truck. We did know that there were some ties to Broward County, and so we had notified Broward County last night during the investigation that he could possibly be en route to Broward County. Um, this morning, it, I'm not sure exactly what time, um, the Fort Lauderdale Police Department um, located Mr. Santa Bria. And as I think we all know now, there was a short chase and then um, they engaged with Mr. Santa Bria and he was fatally shot. And so that's pretty much the, the story. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions sent to me, so I'll try to cover some of those. Um, it does not appear he got out of his vehicle at the residence. And uh, it does appear that he was there to visit the suspect's wife at the residence and was confronted by the suspect while still in his vehicle. He was shot multiple times. Um, there were 34 shell casings at the scene. It's kind of difficult to tell exactly how many times he was actually struck. Um, I don't have the make and model of the car yet. Um, the uh, case evolved very quickly last night and uh, obviously um, the intel paid off in Broward County and uh, I know there was I think at least one vehicle crash during the, the very short chase and it ended very violently so you have any questions Chief are you able to say um, what's the connection to Fort Lauderdale why did you go there what sort of information did you have that led, it, led the investigation down to Fort Lauderdale they were they moved here from that area and, and have still have friends and family in the area the um, the individual, the wife of the suspect, I suppose that the that the man that the deceased was going to visit, um, was this like a platonic type thing, or you know, was it not a was it more romantic, or were there problems, you know? So that's that's part of the investigation that's still ongoing. Exactly what the, that relationship was, but I mean, it does look like it was uh, this confrontation was motivated by. The husband's disapproval of that relationship. What would be your message to the community when someone like this initially got away and didn't anymore? So you know, I think we kind of messaged last night this. Um, this was a targeted um, situation. This wasn't random. Um, we were concerned that he might still be in the area and we, were, we had reason to believe he was armed when he left the house. So we couldn't really call all safe. For the, for the community, but we also didn't think anybody, unless they tried to do something to this individual, would be in danger. So that was kind of the messaging last night. So at this point, it's all safe? It's all safe. How would you characterize a scene like that with that many shells on the ground? How would you describe that? Um, you know, it's very uncommon uh, to see something like that in Port St. Lucie. I would, you know, I would say that it was a, it was a very deliberate act to, to fire a gun that many times. How would you describe the, uh, could you characterize the, um, the cooperation between the Port St. Lucie Police Department and the uh, Fort Lauderdale authorities? Uh, nothing but um, extreme respect for Fort Lauderdale Police Department and how they immediately got on to this case and, and were able to locate the suspect very quickly. And uh, I know our detective bureau is, is exchanging information with them and we're both working our investigations and helping each other. I'm um, just not fully read in on exactly the details of the case. Okay. What sort of questions are you still looking into? Are there still questions remaining as to how and why this all happened? What's, where is the investigation well, going from yeah, here? Yeah, I, I think, you know, this. We, we know who the suspect, suspect was because of witnesses. Um, so I think that part of the, the case is pretty much wrapped up, but I think, you know, we, we do need to figure out the motive for the In, in terms of, it, obviously the husband and wife apparently lived at the house on Duke Circle. Was there anybody else that lived there? There are other family members, yeah. I believe her mother and a brother lived there. 
and I'm not exactly sure on that. So, so other family members lived in the home? Yes. Do you know if they were there at the time, or? I believe they were, they were home, yeah. Do you feel that you've recovered, or do you know, or can you say if you guys have recovered what you, or for Lauderdale Police have recovered the weapon believed to be used in the homicide last night here? And that part's still under investigation. Do you believe that this was something that was premeditated, or was this something that was just that this person showed up and he acted on a reflex? So we, we don't know that, we, and we won't, because he, he's passed. Do you know if it was a long gun or a handgun? Or? It was a forty-five caliber handgun. Any other questions? All right, thank you all, and thank you for your support.